Well, Carl, it's a defeat here against Exeter City. Um, just your overall thoughts on the match. Yeah, it was a frustrating game, um, especially with them scoring just before half time. It's a, it's a bit kick of the teeth, really. Um, but and then I thought that the gaffer did well with the team talk, got us back on it for the second half because we were still in the game. Um, and then obviously with Rowe getting sent off, I take full responsibility for that. I feel as though that he was one of those like freak incidents that I should have done better with it and should have just got it out as as uh, like if I could just clear it as far as I could. And um, so yeah, I take full responsibility for that. Um, Luckily, I got some. I had some decent saves and a decent overall performance. But at the end of the day, I'd much rather have no saves to make and we get the three points. I'd rather be quiet, have the three points, and then clean sheet. But um, but yeah, it was a frustrating game. It's very very admirable there. You taking full responsibility. Um, I guess it's like you know you're here on loan and you're here to learn. You f you feel like it's another learning curve. Yeah, hundred percent. Every game's a new learning curve. Every game's a new challenge. Um, so I think that's the beauty of it really and it's like it's ideal for me to be on loan here and that's it but when obviously the red card happens it's a bit of a setback especially as you know as you said we were still in the game at the time and you know started the second half reasonably well but how do you feel the lads reacted initially because we kept Exeter at bay uh, for quite a while until they got that late goal yeah I thought the lads was good I thought they um, obviously we were struggling at the back with Warded coming off injured unfortunately and then obviously with Rowe so I thought that we adapted well to that in the back line with Hayden coming in Millsy coming in as well and then Jack, uh, Jack Earing coming in at right back and I thought that yeah we did well I think that um, just the set pieces that, that um, we were unfortunately not good enough at today um, I feel as though that We've been working on set pieces a lot and I think it's just that bit of ruthlessness in both boxes, you know, to get on the header and clear it and score in the other, in the other, box, other, bo other box. I know you've said you'd much rather have points on the board than the saves, but you made some really outstanding saves, particularly in the first half, there was that double save and, you know, a couple in the second half. Um, just talk us through that, that double save and, you know, how you've managed to pull that off. Yeah, I was a bit fortunate with the first shot, um, the first header, uh, it hit me in the face somehow um, and then I had enough time to just react and clear away the second one and thankfully, one of, I can't remember who it was, one of our defenders cleared it away um, and then yeah, the second, the one in the second half I felt as though it was cut back and because he was a bit further out I was able to have enough time to recover into the centre of the goal and then he's put it somewhat in the corner and I've been able to have a good push and put it around for a, a corner. Finally, it's a quick turnaround this time. Obviously, we've not had a Tuesday game for a while against Bradford City on Tuesdays. Is it just about regrouping and, um, you know, working on how to improve ahead of that one? Yeah, hundred percent. Like that's the beauty of the game, really. That we've only got a couple of days until the next game, so then we can dust ourselves down, go again Monday for the game Tuesday.